Hi everyone, and welcome to another marvelous video. Superpowered beings from comics come with a wide range of skill sets. Some are super soldiers, some are known for their durability, some can control aspects of nature, and some can manipulate magic. As the title suggests, this video is dedicated to mutants with magic in their power set, and we've made our list with the top 10 who can bring about world ending or even reality ending events. We're all familiar with characters like Doctor Strange, or even the Enchantress, but just to remind you, they're not mutants. Possessing the ability to manipulate magic for a mutant should either be owing to permanent changes in their DNA or acquired through heritage or learning. With all that said, let us dive into our list without any delay. Before we get into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. Number 1. Scarlet Witch Created by Stan Lee and Jack Kirby, Scarlet Witch was one of the twin children of Magneto and a Romani witch named Natalia. They were both unaware of their true father, and Natalia, fearing her past life would cause harm to her children, sent them to be raised by her brother, Django Maximoff, and his wife Maria. The twins were later kidnapped by a Catholic priest and brought to the High Evolutionary Citadel on the Wondagore Mountain in Transia. After altering their genomes to make them disguise themselves as regular mutants, the High Evolutionary tasked the humanoid cow and midwife Bova to take care of the twins. The Wondagore Mountain was in fact a prison for Cthon, the demon lord of chaos, and the mystic energies were imbued into young Wanda. She showcased a natural talent for sorcery, following which Bova and the High Evolutionary sought World War II heroes Wizard and Miss America to adopt the twins. However, Wizer fled when Miss America died after a miscarriage, and the twins were returned to Django and Maria. Wanda and her brother had a happy childhood, constantly traveling alongside their foster parents and tribe. With age, Wanda's powers kept increasing in folds, and we're all familiar with her capabilities. Her innate infinity for controlling magic was to such an extent that she was once a candidate for the Sorcerer Supreme. Not to mention that she was the Sorcerer Supreme of Earth TRN 989. Another important aspect of Wanda's abilities is the Dark Chaos magic, which she uses to alter reality and control mystical energies. This was owing to the energies she absorbed during her infancy from the Demon Lord of Chaos, Cthon. She could siphon energies from mystical beings except Cthon, and it was not limited to her own dimension but also from many others. At some point, Wanda was trained by Agatha Harkness in witchcraft, for which she could use her powers for a wide range of purposes like astral projection, telekinesis, control over individuals, manipulating energy in all forms, flight, and the list goes on. Wanda had control over matter as well, and she could alter reality. There's no boundary or limit to Wanda's powers, and in the comics, she had once stated that she could bend the universe to her will. Number 2. Madeline Pryor Next on this list is Madeline Pryor, and you might have a fair idea of the character after watching the ongoing X-Men 97. Created by Chris Claremont and Paul Smith, Madeline Pryor was the clone of Jean Grey. Mr. Sinister created the clone with the intention of having a union between Cyclops and the clone to create the ultimate powerful mutant capable of defeating Apocalypse. From the pages of Uncanny X-Men issue 241, we see Jean going reckless with the Phoenix Force inside, while Sinister nearly completes making the clone. However, much to Sinister's disappointment, the clone had no life or special abilities even after puberty, for which the clone was left in her incubation chamber as a failed attempt. After the death of Dark Phoenix, the Phoenix sought to return to its host, but Jean rejected it, and after searching for a new one, the Phoenix Force settled with Jean's clone, giving it life, power, and some of Jean's memories. It was not just the physical looks or abilities, Madeline Pryor had that essence of Jean, who would die for Scott. She possessed all the vast array of powers Jean had. She had everything from telekinesis at the level of warping reality to a high level of telepathy. Her abilities were extended when Madeline was transformed into the Goblin Queen. After various failed invasions from Limbo by the demon Naster, Madeline allied with the demon Sim. Being bestowed with demonic abilities, Madeline possessed a wide array of dark magic. Her dark magic could resurrect from the dead, heal wounds, summon various goblins, demons, etc. Number 3. Storm In third place we have Aurora Monroe, aka Storm, who's the descendant of an ancient line of African priestesses who had the potential to wield magic. She was born in Manhattan to her mother Nadair, the tribe's princess, and the American photojournalist David Monroe. When Aurora was six months old, she moved with her parents to Cairo, Egypt, where a plane crash changed her life forever. Her parents were killed, and Aurora was found buried beside her mother's body. The incident left a deep trauma inside her and a severe form of claustrophobia. 
From being raised by good parents, Aurora became a homeless orphan, eventually turning to theft for survival. During her time in Cairo, she pickpocketed Charles Xavier, making him aware of her mutant abilities. Aurora managed to escape, and Charles declined to reveal her to her powers, believing it to cause significant stress in the child's mind. At 12, Aurora felt a great urge to travel to the south and left Cairo. During her adventure, she took a ride from a stranger who tried to rape her. Perplexed and scared, she was compelled to use her powers, which ultimately killed the man. Aurora then wandered for thousands of miles across the Sahara Desert, and that was when her psychic ability to control the weather kicked in. Aurora later joined the X-Men as Storm, and eventually became one of the team's most responsible and dependable members. Storm is considered a goddess, and is an Omega-level mutant. Her raw power is deemed to be nigh-omnipotent, and her powers shield her from telepathic intrusions and attacks. Owing to her heritage, Storm had the innate skills of witchcraft. She was well-read with the use of spells and magic manipulation. One of her ancestors, Aisha Hales, was the Sorcerer Supreme. Number 4. Apocalypse Regarding mystical mutants with unfathomable powers, one cannot forget the formidable Marvel villain in Sabah Nur, aka Apocalypse. Born nearly 5,000 years ago in the Akaba tribe, his appearance as a child was enough to inspire fear. Being ugly and malformed with gray skin and blue lines running across his face, young Apocalypse was abandoned by the tribe and left to die in the harsh desert until the roving band of feared nomadic raiders called the Sandstormers arrived and rescued him. Their leader, Baal, foresaw the child's true potential and took him under his wing. Baal gave him the name Insabanur and raised him as his own child. Nur grew up to be a being of immense power and was feared and hated by most of the Sandstormers. Insabanur appeared in different times of history and unleashed his wrath. His modern incarnations fought with the Avengers and the X-Men on more than one occasion. Apocalypse mystical powers gave him the ability to become immortal. He had complete control over the atomic structure of his body, and he could not only alter his appearance, but also resurrect himself. Amongst the common powers, he had superhuman strength, durability, stamina, endurance, flight, and control over matter. He could create impenetrable force fields and teleport to any place at will. Although there has not been much display of the ability to manipulate magic, in the pages of X of Swords Handbook Volume 1 Issue 1, Apocalypse has been stated to possess the skills of a sorcerer. Number 5. Selene Created by Chris Claremont and Sal Buscema, Selene was introduced to the comics in 1983's New Mutants Issue 9. She was born approximately 17,000 years ago in Central Europe. Her delivery was complicated, and her tribal elders ordered her mother's people to sacrifice their lives to help young Selene sustain. Years later, during the time of the Roman Empire, when Selene had grown up, she began orchestrating a plan to sacrifice the entire population of Rome in a ritual that would grant her godlike powers. Despite making all preparations, her plan failed, and the Roman authorities planned to burn her at the stake. However, she set the flames against her executioners and managed to escape. Selene made several appearances in different timestamps, and in modern times, she confronted the X-Men numerous times. Selene had a dark set of powers, along with super strength, durability, stamina, speed, reflexes, and telekinesis. One of those was the ability to drain the life forces of others into her psionically. If she drained out only a part of her victim's life, she achieved psychic control over them. She was a high-order telepath and could also shield herself from psychic intrusions. If that's not enough, she could also deliver force fields, disintegrate objects, manipulate fire, and heal rapidly. Living a long life, Selene possessed a considerable amount of magical abilities. At some point, the Eye of Agamotto considered her to become the next Sorcerer Supreme, but luckily that never happened. Selene also had control over dark forces and the ability to manipulate shadows. Number 6. Magic Ilyana Nikolaevna Rasputina was Colossus' sister, and we all know the event where Colossus tried saving her from a runaway tractor, which also led to many problems for him. After some point, she was brought to the United States, and Charles, after touching her forehead, allowed her to speak English. At 6, Ileana was abducted by Belasco and taken into Limbo, where the superhero community knew her as magic. Time passed differently in Limbo, and in a few seconds, her absence from her dimension was years in Limbo. Aging in the realm, Ileana mastered different forms of dark arts, and when her mutant abilities manifested, she used it to return to her realm and reunite with the X-Men. Taking the name Magic, Ileana had a wide set of powers, mainly driven by her sorcery skills. 
Ileana, aka Magic, was the Sorceress Supreme of her Limbo Dimension, and the magnitude of her powers was so extreme that even the Demons of Limbo never dared to challenge her. While Dark Magic was learned from Belasco, Magic had a decent enough control over White Magic that she acquired an alternate reality storm. On Earth, she was trained by Doctor Strange at some point and was even thought of being made the Sorcerer Supreme. She could use her sorcery to manipulate energy, summon her soul sword in nothingness, cast powerful spells, exercise, manipulate matter, and much, much more. Number 7. Pixie. Next on the list is Megan Gwynn, aka Pixie. Created by Nunzio de Philippus, Christina Ware, and Michael Ryan, the character was introduced in 2004's New X-Men Volume 2, Issue 5. Nothing is known about Megan's parents, as her grandparents raised her in a small town in Wales. Her mutant abilities kicked off during a near-miss road accident. Identifying as a mutant, Megan enrolled herself at the Xavier Institute, where she was assigned to Wolfbane's Paragon's training squad. Megan was a cheerful student at the Institute, known for her amicable nature. During the M-Day event, most of the Institute's students lost their powers, and Megan was one of the very few who could retain them. At some point, Megan, along with Anol, Wolf Cub, Rock Slide, Loa, Blindfold, and Match were sucked into Limbo. Amidst all the chaos caused by the demons of Limbo attacking, Magic saved the group. Pixie was later summoned by Magic, who requested her for a small portion of a soul to create a soul sword. As explained by Magic, the soul dagger contained only a tiny portion of Pixie's soul, which was smaller than the original soul sword. As Black Magic filled the rest of the dagger, Pixie no longer remained innocent. In her appearance, a significant portion of her pink hair changed into black. She later defeated Belasco, and after leaving the limbo, she was officially made a member of the new X-Men. Pixie was a mutant fairy hybrid, and possessed a long list of powerful magical abilities. She could create dust that caused powerful, profound hallucinations when inhaled. Pixie's spellcasting ability caught the interest of the likes of Doctor Strange, who promised to teach her more after she grew up. She was also a candidate for the role of Sorcerer Supreme. Number 8. Beast Next on the list is Henry McCoy, better known as the Beast. He's not just a mutant, but a member of the First Class X-Men, fighting for peaceful coexistence between humans and mutants under the tutelage of Professor Xavier. His genius-level intellect and knowledge make him superior in different cases. Young Henry was the son of Norton and Edna McCoy. Norton worked in a nuclear power plant and at some point was exposed to massive amounts of radiation. Although nothing happened to Norton, the radiation had affected his genes and Henry was born a mutant. Henry did not have to wait till puberty for his mutant genes to manifest, he was born with unusually large hands and feet, showcasing unusual strength and agility. With age, Henry's abilities kept amplifying, while his innate superhuman intellect pushed him further to acquire knowledge. Hank's mutant abilities were further enhanced when working at the Brand Corporation. He developed a serum that triggered his transformation into a blue furry beast there. Beast strength is often underestimated, but his rage can be a critical concern. In an alternate reality dubbed Earth-295, the professor had died before making the X-Men, following which the Beast was shown to be the most valuable geneticist of Apocalypse. He was completely evil and enjoyed killing innocents. Even putting aside that case, Beast proved his strength on Earth-616 itself on numerous occasions. Even Kraven the Hunter could not handle him. Number 9. Nightcrawler When it comes to mystical mutants, Nightcrawler can never be left out. Time and again, he's proven how his skill set can be lethal, which brings him to our list. Kurt, aka Nightcrawler, had one of the most complex deliveries, resulting from Mystique's illegitimate affair with mutant Azazel and many more. It was during that time that Mystique took the form of a German noblewoman named Raven Darkholm and married to Baron Christian Wagner. However, it was only to benefit herself from the deal she had made with her lover Irene Adler. She even made the Baron hire Irene as her maid and continue her affair with her. At the same time, Mystique also had a short affair with Azazel. Spending time with her lover, Irene stated that she wanted to have a child with Mystique. Next, Mystique morphed into a man and passed on the altered gametes carrying the traits of Azazel, Baron, and countless others. To hold suspicion, she used her powers to fake her pregnancy at the same time. With time, Baron began spying on his wife and caught her and Irene delivering the baby. However, before he could act, Mystique killed him and took his appearance. The boy was born with blue fur all over his body, pointed ears, iridescent eyes, and a tail, and Mystique and Irene planned on raising the child together. Following an attack from Baron's guards, the young baby Kurt was abandoned and drifted into a river until he was found by a sorceress known as Margali Zardos. However, Kurt survived a lot of trouble before Charles Xavier took him under his wing. The best part about Nightcrawler's powers is his teleportation, which he does by displacing himself into the Brimstone Dimension. He discovered it while being chased by an angry mob, which also fascinated him. 
Number 10. Forge Forge possesses unparalleled technological prowess, which allowed him to understand and design technology as no one could. He only had to think of it and then he would make it, and this skill set eventually led him to join the US Army. Forge was born in the Cheyenne Nation and trained in the mystic arts by Naze, the tribe's shaman. He was often stated to be a technopath, as he could instinctively know and understand the functional operation of any sort of technology from a decent visual and could conceive and rebuild it. Moving to powers of sorcery, Forge had a high aptitude for mystical art and was well versed with many spells, including the ability to open portals, which he did during the Siang Kong War. However, it was not very often that Forge used his shaman skills, as after the war he refrained from them for 10 years. During the establishment of the mutant island known as Krakoa, Forge assisted Professor X and played a critical role in building the nation's mutant technology. The character was created by Chris Claremont and John Romita Jr., and was introduced in 1984's Uncanny X-Men issue 184. Conclusion So we finally come to the end of this video, and we hope you've liked our content. This was our list of powerful mystical mutants. Do let us know if you think any powerful mystical mutants should be on our list. Although we've seen most of them in live action films, we still crave a scene where Doctor Strange or an infuriated Madeline Pryor is training Pixie. With that said, thank you for watching the video till the end and stay tuned for the next marvelous video. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks everyone!